Hi, I'm Emily Ferguson and I currently live in Grass Lake, but I'm from Eldersburg, Maryland, which is a little town very similar to Grass Lake, so I always feel right at home here in Michigan. I grew up painting on anything I could paint on and went to school for illustration and graphic design. And when I came out of school, my husband was going into school for his MFA. So I decided to be the one that got the regular nine to five and I did graphic design. I had to stop painting for a while while I was kind of holding down the home front while he went to school and got started in his career. And I had my children, I have two sons. Now that they are getting more independent and more on their own, I started to feel like I was going to get a little bit more freedom to do what my passion is, which is painting. Then COVID hit and that was kind of a shock. But of course we were all home 24 hours a day. And I thought, you know what? I should start with watercolor because if one of the kids need me, I can just put down the brush and run over there and it'll dry and it won't get messed up. I started painting just little things, bugs, flowers. And then as I grew and I got more warmed up to it, it all just started flooding back. And since then, I've done quite a large body of work. And most of my work includes an animal. A lot of times they include antiques and sometimes patent drawings. I love history. I love knowing that what I've done, sometimes I've touched something my grandmother has touched or I've painted something that was my mom's favorite growing up and captured them forever. I collect cameras and my mom had a camera that she learned how to take a picture with her first picture and that is <laughs> the camera that I painted. And behind it is a doily because my mom and her mom and everyone else in the family has a bunch of doilies and they all sort of have a history to them. And so I wanted to capture one in with the camera and make it feel like home. I've also done a piece with blue crabs, which is a Maryland thing that a lot of people in Michigan haven't really had true blue crabs. They are amazing. I highly recommend them. Each one of my pieces has a story. Each one starts with me kind of sitting down with myself and thinking about what I'm thinking about at that moment. I'm a mom, so a lot of times I'm thinking about a million things at one time. But sometimes I think about something and it just starts to elaborate and elaborate and elaborate. And I end up putting together kind of a visual collage of the things that interest me and the things I think would be interesting to other people as well and that would tell a story. The very first thing I do is kind of collect a ton of imagery and then sort of start piecing things together to match what I'm seeing in my head. Once they match, then I draw it out on the watercolor paper and ink it and go from there. And so it's just sort of evolved and I love the practice. I love the me time. I love that I get to do what I call self-care by sitting down and kind of getting out thoughts and memories from my life and from my mom's life and my husband's life and um, my children's life. Lots of friends have been focused in paintings. One friend's turtle and I have a goat that is named Baby and a kitty cat and that's named Louie and those are the Christmas elves and they are one of my best friend's pets as well. A lot of people ask me if what I'm doing is really watercolors because the way I paint watercolors is through several layers build up. I was originally trained as an acrylic painter so I'm used to layering and layering and layering and now I really enjoy doing it with watercolor because I like my colors to be bold and I like really fine detailed work with meaning in everything. So even if you see a letter or a certain patent they all pertain to somebody specifically. I currently have a, a list running of um, pieces that people have requested and I'm trying to work my way through that and at the same time lace in the things that are inspiring me at the time and the things that I really want to paint. 
which is where the bunny and the teacup came from. My friend was having a Wonderland party and wanted all the artists to think about a tea party. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if the ants came to eat the sugar from the tea party? So we have a little bunny, which I love bunnies. I love everything about them, the way they look and their texture and painting them is just so fun with all the fine little hairs. And so I gave him a little teacup hat and he's trying to balance his tea, but it's coming out. And the ants are the guests, just kind of working their way up through, up to the plate. The other thing, somebody asked me why I have flowers in everything I paint. And my answer is that I am obsessed with flowers. I love them. I don't know all the names of them. That's my New Year's resolution to start learning more of them. But my husband rarely gets them for me. So I always say that since I don't get flowers a lot, I paint them instead and keep them close to me that way. And I can, they live forever, except for the octopus ones, because the octopus is an underwater painting and it's two octopi working together to get one of them out of trouble, out of the jar. And they just keep working at it and working at it. And so you can visualize that it would be underwater, which it is. And so as kind of a juxtaposition, I decided to use dried flowers in that painting. So even though the painting is all of liquid and under the sea, the flowers, rather than being full of life, are dried and a little bit duller than I typically do. I started that painting in the beginning of COVID and I felt like I was trapped in my house and I couldn't get out and I couldn't get to anybody I wanted to see or be around or hang out with. And so that was me trying to get out of what I was stuck in. The monkey, Fajar, he lives at the Toledo Zoo and he is the cutest inspirational thing. And as soon as I saw him and saw his life and saw how he hung on everything, I just could see sun, giant sunflowers that he could just play on and swing from. Right then and there during one of my art shows at the zoo, I developed that piece. <laughs> so everything kind of evolves from something else. I mean, I can't wait to see what evolves next, what I get inspired by next and where it's gonna go. Mm -hmm.